fairways at Eagle Quest Golf Course in Coquitlam need a little work. Actually, they need a lot of work. It may look like vandalism, but it's not. It's part of a project to replace a landfill gas collection system that was installed here in 1993. They started the construction on the trenching. The grey pipe with the white cap, that's landfill gas extraction well. And then the snaky uh, mess you see is, is the line of the lateral, which is a pipeline that will collect the gas from the, the, the line of uh, wells. They have to be connected up, uh, of course, but that hasn't, that hasn't been done yet. Eagle Quest was built on a decommissioned landfill that's been closed for almost 30 years now. But even all those years later, it's still producing methane gas, thanks to the two million tons of garbage that was disposed of here. Pictures of recent drilling show the garbage beneath the soil is not as decomposed as you might think. This is our methane analyzer. It's been here since 1993 when they built the system. Still works. Methane is a very potent greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. Its global warming potential is uh, 21, which means uh, methane actually is 21 times more effective at trapping the heat in the atmosphere when compared to carbon dioxide. The methane used to be piped to a nearby newspaper recycling plant for use in its boiler. But that plant is now closed, so the methane is being sent to a new enclosed flare system to be burned rather than released directly into the atmosphere. Oxidizing methane in a flare means you're not releasing methane into the atmosphere as is, but burning it and converting it into carbon dioxide and water vapor. Carbon dioxide is also a greenhouse gas, but it's not as powerful as methane. But the real answer lies in finding a new client who will actually use the landfill gas instead of buying natural gas or some other type of fuel. Metro Vancouver officials are optimistic that a new user can be found since it would be financially beneficial to whoever eventually signs a deal. If we get a direct user and they spend half a million dollars a year on gas for their boiler and depending on what we actually collect when we're done, it'll represent somewhere between 25 or half of what their gas usage would be. So somewhere between 100, 125, 200, $250,000. For the operators of the golf course, it's a minor inconvenience. The driving range is still open, but the course itself has been forced to close for a few months. Sometimes I walk out there and go, wow, is this really going to be ready by February? We're not going to do some of the grass fixing up until later into the spring, but I think most of our clients will understand that. The golf course has agreed that we would probably get the restoration done in April when it's a bit warmer. If we do it in February, cold weather like now, it won't look very good just then. So it'll still be playable, but uh, it'll be a new hazard for the golfers, so <laughs> something to look out for. It's hoped a new client for the landfill gas will come on board soon, so Metro Vancouver can continue on to phase two and install a pipeline directly there, sometime in 2013.